My name is the Maxim and today I just want to say before this video starts yes my skin has changed only because if you just there is a big massive glitch in the game up to now I have not I can't get my skin back only because these two free these three sorry have gone it's supposed to be a birthday pat skin and the other two I can't but I can't remember but the birthday cat pat skin had me um end the and the uh, dragon man and um, I can't I can't get him back so this is the closest thing to it so you'll be getting this until everything's fixed and all so yeah uh, this is a house by the way and um, we are doing today the decorative garden um, because we have done the inside of the house oh nice oh fancy everything's perfect and yeah so yeah um, Everything's nice, got a bit of cobwebs to make it look old and all, and um, you know, everything's doing okay, and the decorative garden's done, it's just that just one more part has to be inside the thing, so yeah, uh, this house will be finishing soon, but the Minecraft construction handbook is not going to be fin is not finished, because there's loads of stuff to be done. Once the house is done, um, there might be a few bits and bobs here and there, like, I might just, like, have, um, because one's going to be this side, it amazes what I'm going to do now in a minute, and um, something's going to be on this side that's sooner or later, just because I can't have just one side done and the other side is just going to be plain. So, yeah, um, we are doing the decorative garden side of the thing, because it's part of the decorative garden, and, um, there will be like a little gap here or something, but um, we're going to start from here, and yeah, let's get started. So, in this, all you need is the maze, and maze is probably the most popular uses for like leaf blocks is to create mazes, so you'll need leaf blocks, and can you see what I've done underneath, so you need wooden blocks. And before I start, it, before I start every um, video like this, I'm going to say, did you know? Because cause it would be nice, but did you know an infinite water source can be made by creating by a 2 times 2 square of 3 times, rectang 3 times 1 rectangle of water? Once created, an infinite water source will be produced an endless supply of water. If you didn't know that, then that's, that's something that you probably didn't know, and yeah. Right, so let's get started. Right, the first part that we gotta do is is get more, because we need a layer out before anything happens. So on this side, you will need ten wood going up. So let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So get 10, oh, placing upwards, not downwards, placing upwards, like that. <coughs> Once you've done that, um, this part right here will be deleted, because you can get inside the maze and by this part. So yeah, the maze, the, the floor will be patched with them, so don't worry. And along this side, we'll have 13 blocks going up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and place them all up like that so yeah uh, i may make sure that's 10 and just miss one block out when you get to the 11th block the sort 11 blocks will be missed out and on the 12th block you should ha start with another row going up 13 once you've done that go back to the 10th one and right here, 
go along three more. So one, two, three, and you have done that. Once you've done that, you go up. Let's say about um, two. So one, two, and then have one right, one popping up like that. Even though I've done that wrong, but still. I may have done it wrong. No, yeah, I've done it right. And then once you have done that, get your wood, get your wood, and go up four, and then miss one block and go up five. So I think that's pretty sure five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, it in arrows uncorrectly, but still five. Once you get to there. You go along four, four. So we have five blocks going that way, and then delete two blocks going uh, where, you've, where your house is facing with the doors, facing with the doors. So yeah, and then just fill this part in. Just leave one block out so before you touch it. So it's like having two blocks facing upwards. I'm just gonna fill that part in. So it's something like that. Right. Once you've done that, get to your fourth block where it's where it has like like one block, pa um, one block miss, four miss, and five. Go to the fourth one, and then on the first one, on the third one up, go out two. Cause it's a maze. We need a maze. Once you have done this, go back to to the pattern what we have here. Go down. Free. So you end up having something like that uh, Guys, I have tried my best on the minecraft decorative garden. I am trying to go through it Right here and um, yeah, so I am kind of improvising because most of it is actually quite difficult I will show you if you if you don't have me a snapchat guys add me a snapchat It is what is going to be shown now If you don't have that Add it right now because that's my snapchat name and I'll be uploading um, daily on that so you can see like behind the scenes what I'm doing you may see like a bit of odds with my body and all that but um, I don't I don't actually mean to put my body on it it's just that I used to have it just not um, as it was but yeah so let's go on with the video so <coughs> leave one gap that bottom from here so then you go across foot three like that. Then you go down on this one. Then because it's going to be having two like this. So and then um, count this one and then go six along one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six like that. Then once you have done that. You go one, two, three, four, five. So it's five up, including this one. It's going to, so it's going to be four up. One, two, three, four. So you're having something like that. Other than that, um, <coughs> that top here, you go one, one, two, this one. And then go miss one here and that one right there, so it's having like a one block miss out there. And you're able to have something like that. And on this one, what you just place down. If you just follow what I'm doing here, you probably get the idea. Go along three more. And then you have something like that. And then go up two. Um, go along a lot. So you're having like, if you go like this, you go, oh crap, oh crap, I'm blocked. So yeah. <coughs> On this one, you go up three. Crap. And then, get this one. And go out. Uh, uh. Sorry for the background, background noises, if you can hear it. So yeah, on this one, 
But it's like the fourth one going up where he's like, like uh, miss what? Do one, miss one, do one, miss one, do, 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 do. So on the third one, on the fourth one going up on this one, if you can look where I am, on that one there, you go in the corner two, and then three, and four. So it's going to be four out and have one like that. Then it's it, no matter what, you can't have double lines. So yeah, make sure that's free. So you start it off like this. So if you start the maze, boom, 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 boom. Oh crap! You can get in this way. So if you ever like was in the back garden, and, like feel like going to maze, you don't have to go out in front. You can just go. So yeah. On uh, this one right here, you go up, you can't carry it up, and then when you get to this one, you just block it off right here. So, yeah, I think it, I think it's believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven up, guys. What should you get seven up? You make sure that you have like one gap what's going up as well. So, so it's end up going looking like this. Just make sure it's like perfectly going out like that only because right here it's going to have a, like a chill out area so you so it can just do so yeah and let's just work out on the chill out area right here all right the chill out area has to be about six times six so that has to be two more out so it's like identifying this so one two three four five six make sure that has one more up and then just connect it all with one that's your chiller area you could put like those like stairs like to make it as chairs and all so yeah um <coughs> right now we just need to complete what we are doing that um on this part so, yeah. <sighs> Sorry if I if I'm making you wait, guys. It's just that uh, it's very, 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 very complicated. So yeah, as I was as I was saying, we're gonna carry on. So if you go to the beginning part, if you just place a block where the beginning is, just make sure it has like too high, so you know what it is, where the beginning is. That's going to be the beginning, so you know where it is. Right, on the beginning part, just start where you are. Where it goes third across to the left, go down and carry on. And then when you get to this part here, I don't know what to call it, on the seventh block, you go like diagonal to the left and down, and then go across eight. So I've got three already there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you go up five, so I'll count that one. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you go across one more. And then you go up five more. One, two, three, four, five. And then have one right facing outwards this way. Because you need this just so you have like loads of exits and loads of like end, um, endings. So it's not going to be like having one ending. It's like a maze. It's like a maze. Don't get me wrong, it is a maze. But um, a maze only has one ex one um, start and one exit. But this one it has um, loads of starts and loads of exits. So you can start whenever you want. So yeah, uh, just carry on with this part. Just go up one more. And miss that one and then carry on make sure it's like ident identical like this and then you go up 11 so counting this one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven once you have that eleventh one you go across six starting with this one so that's already been done one two three four five six so you have the sixth one there, 
and then you just miss one more block here and then you go across one and then <clears throat> on the second one it is like let's just say about five across so there's one two three four five right on the second one where you started you go up two more and you go across until you meet this one so it's something like this if you don't have something like that just go back and just try and redo uh, that's the maze what is looking right now because it's a bit wonky and a bit everywhere that's what it mazes are about it's not like proper square and all that it's just that the chill area is just like putting it out there so yeah <laughs> So yeah, uh, we might have one missing it, and then have it like this. So it's connecting with this one. If you if you catch my drift. On the chair area, on the left hand side where it goes up three. On the fourth one, just make sure you have you just missed one, only because you need it. And then on the fifth one, just make sure you have one oak so it's like one two three miss four and five six so on the fifth one go across and make sure it's like meeting with that one and then go up like that and then make sure it's all connected so you have like two ways of getting in the chiller area let's just block this off so it looks weird so it don't look weird but uh, you can break that area so it looks like you have like an area where you can just go in and chill. Like, uh, like, oh yes, I'm in a chill area. Oh, what well, this way lead? Nothing, nothing. Cause you need loads of dead ends in mazes. Right. Um, <coughs> the next one what you have to do is just a bit more slightly. Let's just say a bit more like slightly confusing. So yeah. On this one, um, where it's like that top, but not the, the start, that top near the chill out area. Let's just call this the chill out area by the block of emerald. So I'm going to call that the block of emerald area. So with the block of emerald area, I'm going to call it emerald area actually. Emerald area, just uh, where, it's, where it has like this secret passage where you go up and then go, uh, uh, you can see the area of the emerald. And uh, then if you go out well, and it has this little pathway here you can just add more blocks here where it goes up and then it's going to be slightly tricky this part because you need something like that because we need like more diagonal things like that so yeah <clears throat> if you if you see that right there near the em emerald area you get my drift right this part it has a massive massive rectangle so, yeah. I'm just looking at a Minecraft construction booklet because I know you guys will get confused with the maze. Alright, so. Let's say about here, guys. Let's say about here. So. Go to the chill area, alright, the emerald area, and you have this diagonal thing, and then go across from here, and go up f about five blocks, so, starting with this one, so I'm going to put a block of emerald, so one, two, three, four, five, on the, five, on the fifth one, just right under it, put one block of wood you need that one block of wood because trust me that's where something is going to go in the middle so yes right and then you go down 11 including that one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so on the 11th one go across one more like that 
and that leads into the space here <coughs> and with this one you go across six so one two that's how three so three four five six and leave one out and connect it with the other part right there so on this part right here you just go down five one two three four five and then on the fifth one go across three i mean two so it's like a little single pattern and then go down two so it's like a lot once you have done that you can go across like that so it's like entering this space here I'm sorry guys I have done something wrong see this part here I am so 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 sorry but uh, <coughs> you go out one more because the width of it don't look right so you actually you actually have another block inside so that'll be seven across not six if you catch if you know what I mean so you have like a little square area here right from here where the beginning is if you go across over again make sure that's make sure all of it's connected even though you have diagonal things so that'll be like a lot so yeah like from the beginning part if you go left and keep going left and until you get that, that massive gap here just like in between this part make sure it's like this what you've seen right now So it's like a, an E but backwards if you if you if you know what I mean. So it's like E that way, that's like an E, but if you look this way, it's like an E backwards. So yeah. <coughs> On this part, you get pretty confused, but it's gonna go like an S over and over again. So it's like end up looking like that. But with the S shape, well it's like never ending, so it's like a snake. Make sure that part is out. So it's like um like it's not like a, it's all connecting and you can have like rolls of curves and all that. We have nearly complete the layout of the thing of the maze is just that this part won't have any the square this big massive square won't have any sort of thing inside of it no layouts so only this part has to be done so with this part <coughs> the top half of the s on the third one where it's closest to the big massive square go along it eight so we are done Four, five, six, seven, eight, and make sure you fill it with oak wood. <coughs> and then, if you just cut it here, you you um, end up having like if you're going across here and you go up there and you look there, it's blocked off. So yeah, with this part, you go down to that two down, and. Just make sure that's like a square. So yeah, it should be looking like this. If you don't, if if you miss some things out, just like take it back to the beginning, and yeah, <coughs> I make sure that I have to make sure that everything makes sense to you guys. This is kind of makes sense way out coming and coming out of my mouth. And I'm trying to describe it as best as I can. If you don't know how to do it, you can. If you don't know how to like make this maze, you can just improvise and just make sure you have a, 
um, and see that emerald area where you can see what I'm looking at now make sure there's a chill out area where you can like, put benches and chairs and all that um, yeah and um, make sure you have a big massive square because this big massive square will have something inside of it so yeah let's go back where we just are oh, crap right from that little um, exit from that little exit where it comes up here just like have one layout up so you have like a say if you was like coming to your house and you're like oh, I have to go around it you don't have to you all you got to do is go in your go in this maze here and then go to a uh, block of Enrolled, go down and then uh, Matt, Matt I'm in my base already so you don't have to mess about or anything like that you could just jump over your over the hedge if you ever wanted to but I never do that because I want to obey the laws of things so yeah it's more funny if you go ever go down there so this part here where it's like two down you, can, you go across three so it's like looking four and then have this part going down two <clears throat> right here in this little like rectangle base part you can have like a big H like looking like this and then in here you could just put two wood right there no the H just go like H miss one like um like an eye then miss then do like an eye thing with mi block missing and then like miss one do one miss one do one miss one if you look if you look at that pattern you'll get what I mean so yeah once you have done that all you got to do then I'm just keeping a wood just in case I ever do something wrong like if I break the block hi right, you can get any um, leaves but I prefer why what is these leaves now Nope. I'm pretty sure it was birch. Yes, it was birch. I like birch leaves. Uh, I always forget what. Oh my god. I always forget what um, it is. So, where the layout is, all you got to do is just fill it up three or four high. It's up to you. You can have it at two, but um, just be careful because people can peek over. So, I have it like three or four. Um, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like um, flash motion this part because he doesn't want flash motion. So yeah, I'll see you guys once all this is filled in. Right, well, guys, once you have done that, you end up looking something like this. Right, if you go to the area where it has like the emerald, if you wanted, you can actually break the block. So you have like an area to go out to and you, and you can just go in your back garden whenever you go in your back garden You can just go in your chill out area just right here. So let's just let's just Fill in everywhere with Stone slab or a block of quartz. I think a block of quartz would look nice in a maze, but I don't know if it will look nice with the stone slab. It will look nicer with the stone slab, don't get me wrong. But I think the block of quartz will smoothen things up with a bit rather than having stone slab. So we're having block of quartz. If you can't get him, you can use stone slab if you want. But um, I rather have block of quartz because it's more fancy. So everywhere where it's grass in the maze, just replace it with block of quartz. I'm going to cut it right here rather than fast motion because it's more better with the cutting. And I just like, I done everything and guys, I just want to say, right here in this very odd thing, just push out like one because you need this and make sure this is like push back one. Um, base, uh, it, used to be, it used to be here. But then I deleted it and pushed it back. And so, yeah, because um, you need here something. And this has been added in as well. So, yeah, just make sure you have one big massive area of the 
square and find the middle. I have found the middle because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll find the middle in this square because the middle is very, very important. I have done this. I have done this before, but my um, mic was not on, and uh, basically I just recorded my, my um, recorded a gameplay with no <laughs> voice. So anyway, go in the go in the chill out area, and then get your spruce wood right here, because you need spruce wood stairs right here. Make a cornered. Bitch. And then right here, just make two stairs, and right here, just make one stair, and right here, just make one more stair as well. So basically, you have something like this. And then once you've done that, get some signs and put it outside of side of the stairs. So so it looks like you yeah, actually do have like a proper nice chill out area. So yeah. So. I just place a sign instead of donating. Oh my god. I need I need I need to redo all this. I just need to I just need to patch all this again. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, I just redone it all. So yeah. There you go, uh, everything's back to normal. This is like a chill out area, so whenever you want to chill, you can just go like, oh. So nice. Hey Maureen, can I have a cup of tea? Thank you. Like, nah, I don't want a cup of tea. Anyway, go in the middle, where, where your square is. And uh, map the territory where the middle part is. Cause this part, is gonna have a fountain! Yay! But before that, before we build any fountain in this, we need to patch it all. It's not gonna be with quartz slabs, it's gonna be with stone bricks. So, place all, place stone bricks all the way around, except from the middle part, where you can, yeah, 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 you will need a patch in the middle part because you don't want anything to go like wrong with it, do you? I just want to patch this because uh, I don't have, I don't want any signs to spawn in under it. So yeah, patch it all in with stone bricks. Once you got that patched in, see where the thing is? You need that. Alright, so in this, you will need stone bricks, chisel, chiseled, yeah, I always get that wrong. Chiseled stone, <coughs> stone bricks, glowstone, wooden door, birch wood stab. And also a bucket of water because we are building in the fountain. So you need this, like, obviously, one like this. You need, like, you need everywhere, like, one space. So it's going to have, so it's going to look like this, basically. Alright, and each corner put chiseled stone bricks so it looks fat and nice fancy but you can rather have that or you can rather do this like that but we're not gonna have that or you can have it just like this because that actually does look nice so I'm gonna keep it like that. So one up, delete these. Bleeding. <sighs> Just get the stone stair, I don't care. Stone brick. So have that there, delete that, delete that. 
have that there, delete that, delete that, delete that. So you have like a little square in the middle. Once you have done that, place that down, and then I have like a stair going like that all around. Oh crap. Um, I think we can't do that, supposedly. But anyway, let's just carry on. Alright, bring it up two. I think it's two. Alright, bring it up six. So, oh, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five will do. Four will do. <laughs> bring it up four. And then... Get holy crap! This is actually quite mind puzzling. All right, once you have done that, then make like a base. What's going to be surrounding it, like on top of the fourth one, and then chisel stone bricks on each on each side. Then get your stairs and put it everywhere on each corner. And then match them all up so it's touching each other like that. So basically like a couple. And then in the middle, put water inside. So it's look like that. And then on top of it like that, put your wooden trap door. It doesn't matter if it goes on top or anything, as long as it goes on the side of it. And then on top of the glowstone, put a bit of wood slab. And then, then... Get your wooden stairs, I mean, your wooden stairs, stone brick stairs, and place it around it, like that. And then, get the same, and then put it underneath. Oh no, put it on, why did I do that, like, put it on like that. Put it underneath, here. So it looks like this. And then have this, and then you have something like that. You can either have it right there, or you can just bring it up one more, or you could just have it like that if you want it. But you can just bring it up one more, like that, and you can actually fill all that part in if you really wanted to. So it looks like it's connecting with all each other oh I did not see that part of what's missing so it looks like it's all connecting and you have like a little waterfall but then you can just delete the corners because who wants corners in in finger right and then put your water oh oh wow I didn't see I didn't expect that but that's actually quite nice and then you can put it like in the corners of here if you just delete that and you can it like that. So yeah, that's the fountain guys. And yeah, and the maze is now officially completed. So if you ever want to go in it, you can just like have a wonder and you can ever get into the middle. You'd be like, oh, no way, I found a fountain. But there's a secret thing. If you, sorry, my control pad is actually quite dodgy. Sorry about that. I need a new control pad bad there. So yeah, uh, you can go to your chill out area as well. So yeah, I hope you guys actually do like this video. If you like it, please leave a like. And if you if you want to see more series of it, subscribe. Because I really do like making these series and all that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.